18 individuals involved in the conspiracy to overturn Arizona's election results in 2020 were indicted by a grand jury Wednesday and charged with forgery, fraud, and conspiracy. Two of those fake electors are state senators. Jay Kaufman? In Arizona, I am going to fight to make sure that we do not have satanic memorials and altars and displays honoring Satan on public property. And Anthony Kern. Go on YouTube, folks, and watch, that, watch a little baby in the womb at nine months pushing back on a needle. Why? Because that baby wants to live. Kern's also a congressional candidate for Arizona's 8th District, comprising Peoria and parts of the West Valley. The other people listed are Arizona's nine other fake electors who forged a document that fraudulently claimed Donald Trump won Arizona's electoral votes in the 2020 election. The charges were announced by Attorney General Chris Mays after conducting a 13-month investigation. These 11 people met at the State Republican Party of Arizona headquarters in Phoenix and signed what they claimed were official documents claiming to be the legitimate electors or representatives of Arizona's electoral vote. Electors are people appointed by the state parties to represent their state's voters in the Electoral College. If the Democratic presidential candidate wins, as Biden did in Arizona, their party's state electors go to D.C. Since Biden won, Arizona's real electors were selected by the Democratic Party. These Republican fake electors basically tried to illegally overturn the will of the voters and flip the state to Trump, even though he lost, essentially stealing most of Arizonans' votes, including maybe yours. These charges have been filed with the Maricopa County Superior Court, but a court date has not yet been set. Follow our page for more updates on the fake elector charges, the state legislature, and everything Arizona.